Well, I have lots and lots of things to do today, and the very first is gathering huge, huge amounts of resources and hoping that I don't glitch out my world by flying. <laughs> Aha! Here we are! So, I was exploring the desert sometime back in December and realized that there is a Badlands Mesa biome thing out here. And you know what? I need... Is that a... Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding. Oh my gosh. How do I... Okay, there are my torches. Okay. Well, this is fortuitous. And I needed string. Amazing. Now, I do have a mine shaft a little bit closer to home that needs exploring. Woo! Ha! Stuff like that happens, I suppose. But, that's certainly helpful. I hate changing beautiful landscapes like this, but... It must be done. We've gotten lots of new faces around here over the last few weeks, and I appreciate all of you for showing up. I'm so glad that you enjoyed my content enough to subscribe. Anyways, I am Dee. I am fairly new to video games and Minecraft in general, and I started this channel when I got Minecraft on my computer. Um, and you can watch my entire like Minecraft experience starting back in September, so several months ago. And we started in this world. We took a break in January for a building challenge, but we are back and there are so many things for me to do and learn and explore and I am so excited. I have many, many things to experience for the first time and I love sharing that with you and I've also just kind of gotten addicted to uh, making Minecraft videos at this point. I have an insanely long list of materials to gather and this is only the tip of the iceberg. So, let's get going and, I guess, do some mining. You know, like, the game. There it is. There it is. Okay. The amount of time boating in circles that I spent to find this thing is insane. I've literally only seen it once in one of my previous videos and I noped out of there real quick and didn't take good note of where it was so I had to go back and watch that footage over and over again to actually find this thing. My goodness. Okay. Okay, so there's a little bit of preparation work that we need to do before, uh, ooh, maybe that spot? Before going into a guardian, into raiding the guardian monument, the ocean monument thing, and making our farm. Alright, so this is, oh my gosh, amazing. Already, I found a spot. So, we need to break through the bedrock roof here, the nether roof here. All right, I've not done this before, so wish me luck, I suppose. Wait, let me take note of the coordinates for this. Um, 12 and negative 11, because we are gonna need to break these. All right. And I think we aim at the corner, and we go, Ah, oh, yes! I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! And this block right here is that 12 and negative 11. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's a whole lot of nothing, isn't it? Um, alright, I'm gonna put a torch on this, just so I know that that is exactly where I need to... Uh, break it, and I'm going to follow a tutorial and try to break this, so wish me luck again, I suppose. We've got this set up here, and I am going to actually set my use key to a 
different key bind so that I don't have to like constantly right click. So I now have it set to R. So what I need to do, and is that, does that highlight that? So what I need to do is I need to right click the lever, hop under the trap door, and then place the piston here. I have a whole stack of TNT, so hopefully this will take just a few tries. And I'm terrified, so let's do this. Oh. Now let's do this. Ah! So this piston needs to be facing downwards at the end of that. That destroyed my lever. Oops. Okay. Here we go again. Boom. Boom. And... <sighs> Still didn't work. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Um, so I went and, uh, did it again because I thought it didn't work. But then when the piston was extended, I thought, oh, yes, I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I feel so accomplished right now. <gasps> Look at this. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. That was actually significantly less painful than I thought it was going to be. So I am very happy with this. I, I, used, I used six blocks of TNT and I didn't even need to use that much, apparently. So this should, fingers crossed, come out at the top of our creeper farm. All right, that is indeed the top of the creeper farm. Uh, it's higher up than I thought it was gonna be, but that's fine, it's fine. Okay, so from here, we're gonna fly northwest-ish. Out this way. There's the shipwreck. And that means that our guardian temple ocean monument thing is right there. Awesome sauce. So first things first, I'm going to set up camp here. And we're going to set up camp far enough away to not hear them, hopefully. Um, we put our ender chest down. And we put our bed down. And we set our spawn. Um... And we're going to set that there. Um, so I made potions of water breathing. And so when we got our uh, potion room set up, I made potions of night vision. So I corrupted those with a fermented spider eye and turned them into invisibility. All right, so we're actually going in without any of our gear. I'm going to keep my um, helmet and my boots on me um, so that um, so that I can use Aqua Affinity and Depth Strider as needed, but actually, let's just stick these in there too. But this should be everything I need Okay, so this island here is going to be kind of our attack point. I've uh, never done this before, so wish me luck. <laughs> get our water breathing. Get our invisibility. Take our bottles away. And you can't see me. Ha! <laughs> Alrighty. So, here we go. So we can't break in the top because we're going to get mining fatigue, I think, as I understand it. So swim past these dudes. We need to go around to the front so that we can 
go down inside. There's so many of these guys. My goodness. Okay. So. Interesting. Alright. Now, I think if we go up as far as we can. Yep, there's an Elder Guardian. Right there. And we hit him, and we hit him, and we hit him, and we hit him. Until he dies. Oh, <laughs> there's the mining fatigue. Okay. Ooh, I got a sponge from him. All right, and then what we need to do is we need to find where the other guys are. That's not there, apparently. So I think if we go down and maybe through here? Nope. That doesn't go down anymore. Does this go down anymore? Oh, 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 that looked like, that looked like, ooh. Yeah, there he is. Okay, let's get him. Jew, 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 Jew. Die, sir, die. Please die. Awesome sauce. And what if? Ooh, we swim back through here. This looks like. This looks like it might be a place leading somewhere. Nope, nope, nope. Getting lost again. Alright, let's go back. Okay, so... Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Aha! He was hiding. All this time. Oh, come on. Die already. Thank you. My goodness. But it's really important for us to not lose invisibility, I think. Okay, I thought there was supposed to be, like, gold in this or something, but apparently not. And this is that big room. Oh! So this is, this is, I think, where the gold lives. I can't see my effects things! Scoos! All right, I've got 23 seconds left on it. I'm going to go ahead and drink another one. And my water breathing. Some gold. And I'm going to take all the dark prismarine because I know that's one that's like... I have to have squid ink, I think, is the crafting recipe for it. So let's store our loot in here. And start working. Alright, this build is rather technical and it's going to take a long time. So, let's go ahead and roll some time lapse. All right, well, this is working nicely. It's insane, look at my levels. I've just collected these levels while collecting my, uh, m the prismarine that I've used for building this thing. It's insane. Watch, it's so laggy, which is why I only did it half the size of what it was supposed to be in the video. And then you just sit and sit and let the XP pour in and like 
like these drops are insane too. And it's, so it's dropping down new guardians every 15 seconds. I literally can't collect all the XP before the next wave of guardians comes in. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, you might have noticed that I, uh, that there's like, I guess a nether elevator is what it's called. Um, that transports these guys and then drops them down. Um, it's the first farm I've used that uses the nether for transport. Um, so that, that was definitely an interesting experience with this one. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set up a little enchanting area around here and just kind of finish it up a little bit. So this is what our guardian farm is looking like now. I've got an enchanting set up here and just some useful things. Also a smoker because we get a lot of cod from this. Well, alrighty. We are now ready to box in our village here a little bit. Fortify it and make it much safer for our villagers and therefore a lot easier to keep villagers with the trades that we want because that's been an issue. It's fine. So this is the design that I've come up with for our wall here. Um, I think lanterns will be on every other little pillar here, but this should work super well. Nothing can get in, nothing can get out. On this side of town, we're gonna have some docks and then we'll have a gatehouse somewhere in that direction. Uh, one thing that I realized is that um, as we add structures inside this town, anything anywhere close to our iron farm is going to have iron doors because those don't count as village doors. But I think I am ready to get going on this, so let's get rolling! All right, well, this is looking a lot more usable. We've got a wall all the way around the town, except for the dock area, which we'll build up a little bit more later. Yeah, mobs shouldn't be able to get in. We've started adding like street lighting. Um, not every area is fully lit up yet, and that is definitely something that I'm gonna have to finish up doing. Um, we will eventually have a three by three piston door, but until I have slimes, that's what we've got. I love this wall and the gates look really good. Um, I think we're going to leave it there for today. Obviously, we've got more work to do. We've got uh, houses to add and roads to add and just a lot of things to make this village look nice. But now it is at least a fortified village that the baddies can't get into and hurt our villagers. So we can start building up some villager trading here. Um, one thing I'm going to do for that is, let's see, come down here and we're going to make a pumpkin and melon farm. Okay, so we're going to set up our little pumpkin and melon farms just right here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to enclose like this little setup with the pumpkin melon farms, the kelp farm, and just like my little smelting crafting area. And I'm not sure exactly how I should set that up. Like what the build should look like, anything like that. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Oh, we need... Um, we're gonna need some more chests, dang it. Okay. So I think this design is from the iCraft YouTube channel. Big shout out to him. I love his videos and just kind of everything he does. Um, but I've used these on the server that I play on 
and I've built them several times now, um, just expanding my pumpkin melon operation over there. All right, our pumpkin farms are operational. I messed up the spacing on them a little bit. Uh, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions for like, a type of building to enclose this area in, let me know down in the comments. I have a lot of cleaning up to do, but we need to name our doggos. So before we wrap up this episode, I'm gonna show you what I named them. There are, there were a very few comments left. So I thought about it a little bit more and decided on some good names for them. So the first one is a great intersection between theater and witchy vibes, and that is Elfie. Um, as in Elphaba from the musical Wicked. If you haven't seen or listened to it, seriously go check it out. It's the best. And then the other one is Ida from my current favorite kids show. Yes, I am in my 20s. I am married and post-college. And yes, I also still love kids' shows. I say still, but I wasn't allowed to watch them as a kid, which is probably why I like them now. But anyways, we are naming Ida after Ida, the Owl Lady from Owl House on Disney+. Plus. Hang on to your inner child. But yes, let me present to you Elfie and Ida. But with that, I have run out of time for anything more for today's episode. Next episode, we will work on our village and just get some more building done with that. But um, I, in the meantime, am going to try to get a few more villagers over there. And hopefully, soon, we'll have lots of trading going and be able to continue sprucing up our gear a little bit. So, I'll see you for the next episode. Bye!